and welcome to this little review video of AI plugins for video editing. So AI based plugins that help you with your photo editing have been around for quite some time, but these are fairly new to video editing. So today we're going to have a look at three different plugins from retouch for me that do different tasks. We will have a closer look at their potential. The first one we're going to have a look at is called Heal. It's an AI based plugin that cleans up your skin frame by frame. The second one is called Dungeon Burn and that one actually brings this photo editing technique to your video editing. I'm really excited for that one. And then the last one is called Color Match. With that one you can match your footage to any image, video or even paintings. So let's see if that really works. We're here on the website, all you need to do is go to products, video plugins. So these are the video um, retouching tools. And these are the plugins we're gonna try. We're gonna try the heal, the dodge and burn and then also color match. And if you scroll further down, you can see the technical requirements that are needed uh, for the plugins to work on your computer. So the plugins are compatible with DaVinci Resolve 18 or newer, and you can have both operating systems and here are some more details. All you need to do to actually try them out is download them. Once you download the plugins, all you need to do is install them, double click on them. It will run you through an installation process which I have already done. And once you're done with that, all you need to do is open DaVinci Resolve. So this is the clip that we are going to use to try out these plugins. If we zoom in, you can really see her skin details here. First, we're going to try out the heal plugin. So as I said, I've already installed it. So now I'm just like going to go and click here on effects. This is just some basic color grading that I applied. First, I'm gonna make a new node to apply this plugin to an empty node. And I'm gonna type in heal and then the plugin already shows up. And I'm just gonna drag and drop it here to this node. Sensitivity, let's keep it as the standard here. Um, I'll keep it with like a close up. I think that's fine for this clip. And then also this, and now let's see. Okay, this is the before, and this is the after. It does a brilliant job. Let's reduce the texture application. Boom. I think this is a bit more natural. No, wow, this is insane. The only issue is that it actually thinks that some normal pigments of her skin, like her wrinkles, are blemishes. Some of them. Like it keeps some of them and others are removed, but I think it's fine. Let's zoom out. If I adjust the sensitivity here, it kind of does not detect some of her wrinkles as blemishes and keeps them. That's nice. In the end, it's kind of a game in between all these parameters that you can change here. So this is the result. Boom, super accurate. So let's also try the other plugin, the Dodge and Burn, and see what is the difference between them. Okay, so I keep this frame. I'm just gonna deactivate for now the healing plugin. Instead of that, I'm gonna type in Dodge. There it is already. Gonna make a new note and apply it. Okay, this one is even. Wow. See how it actually flattens out the shadows?
It looks great. A bit too smooth for my taste. But let's play around a tiny bit. Let's try to adapt the depth. Now it's a bit more natural. I increase it again. You can see here especially how it changes. And then let's also adjust the warmth. Now you can see it actually oversaturates some of the shadow areas. A cooler tone is better because her skin is really pale actually. I think it actually can go with zero. What happens if I do it to 100? Now this is like really a tiny bit too much. I would do it like this probably. I think that's fine. I want to keep it natural. Result number two. Wow. Now see how these can actually work together. What if I also activate that one? Let's zoom in again before we do it. Okay, this is what I would call perfect skin. And last one, the color match plugin. So what I've already done is deactivating the other two plugins here just to make everything run smoother. And for simplicity reasons, I'm also going to take this video clip to, as an example. So first what I'm going to do is create a new empty lot. And then all you need to do is actually type in here color match after you've installed it and drag and drop it onto my new empty node. And surprise, nothing is happening because we have not yet loaded in a reference image. So on the right, you can see you have this whole panel here now with lots of options. What I'm going to do first is actually choose my reference image. And I have prepared this folder with some examples that I want to try and match. Some of them might be a bit more difficult, but let's see how well this plugin actually does. So this is the first reference image that we're going to use. I'm going to select it and click open. And boom, this is what happens. So here on the left, you can see the preview, the reference image and our original video clip. You can also move this around, which is really nice. So let's zoom out here a tiny bit and move this to the side. And this is the result without me actually adjusting anything here on the right. And this is pretty accurate. Here I can then also go ahead and maybe adjust the temperature a tiny bit and also the tint maybe a tiny bit to make it match my reference image even more and then you also have like these other options with color match blend the match smoothing the luminance so how well is it gonna or how much is it gonna um yeah try to match the brightness of your actual reference image you can see here it's without trying to match it here if it wants to match it a bit better i think i will reduce this and then also how well it's, how much to what degree it wants to match the color i think that one is like really really impressive already on top of that you can actually add a lot so you have this lot manager here and if you click on it it opens up this library of LUTs. Some of them are available for free and you can just like choose any of them and try to also add them. So I'm gonna double click on color harmony now, for example. I don't want to blend it too much. Let's keep it like this. And now I also want to actually try my other references. And the cool thing here is instead of clicking here on choose reference image and then selecting the next one, you can also, if you have all your reference images or footage in one folder, you can just click on here, next. And it simply chooses the other reference image. And I would say even that one is, or also that one is impressive. Let me just like reset this. It's 
play the clip a bit. I think it's also pretty, pretty close to the actual photo. I mean, if you compare it to our clip before. Let's reset it a lot. Yes, I think this is like already really nice. So let's move on to the next one. Yes, this one is a black and white film edit. And I must say, I think this one is diffi more difficult to match. But even here, if I don't adjust anything here, let's reset this. It does a good job. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, that one I thought is going to be the most difficult one. Because it's actually quite the opposite color from our original photo. And I think what we really need to do here is actually just the luminance. Yes, it already looks better. It is close. I think I would need to do some further adjustments later on. And then next, another black and white one. Here are some of the results. 